We've never before measured our soil sampling. And so there's been no accountability in the process. So at the end of the day, a farmer is basing a decision of somewhere in the range of $50 to $150 per acre on fertilizer and fertility inputs on this soil sample. The industry probably uses hand probes more often in this area with a little more mellow ground because they're faster and require less maintenance. The problem with hand probes is that even though you push it six inches of the ground, doesn't necessarily mean six inches of soil is extracted out of the ground. So basically the machine, we just load up on a trailer, drop it off the edge of the field, and then we hit go while the machine's running. It takes, you know, accurate depth and location, and we can ensure that it's running autonomously, and, and they can, while the machine's running, move points around to agronomically make, make the best decisions. And then the machine, when it's finished, comes back to the edge of the field with full bags of soil ready to be shipped to the lab. We can be really accurate on the extraction and the location and the repeatability of that soil sampling protocol on that given field year after year. So now we can start trending things up and down so we can say, okay, we could probably get away with a little less fertilizer in this part of the field. Or this part of the field actually could use a little bit more and it's safe to do that. By measuring the depth and location of every soil core taken, we can generate a whole new field of learning because we actually have unnoisy data to look at. We can get farmers 10 to 20 percent more accurate soil data so that they can make that $100 per acre decision with confidence and that there's accountability in the process. They can trust that that soil sample was taken correctly and that they're making the right decision.